Um, Sarah's all done. Rawl's done. She doesn't have anything. Where's Nan? Nan's done. So is everybody... Oh, they didn't trip the quest. That's why. Because you have to go through the quest location. Almost so all, all the way to the other side of the quest location. Hey, check out who's here. I'm coming from that w from that way, and I have to run all the way past the quest location to trip it. It doesn't make sense. I'm happy that you're all alive and kicking. That is terrible. That voice is terrible. Alfonso? I feel safer already with you around. Okay, Tariq, I didn't talk, talk to, to you. Talk to you later. Go away. I don't really care what you have to say, Tariq. Didn't you supposed to give me a, um... A flare Hi. gun? I thought he had a flare gun script. Where do I get my flare gun? I was supposed to get a flare gun. I like the flare gun. Okay, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nan has something. Let's go see what Nan wants. I think he wants to be taken to a diesel. Can I help you? Uh, so where do you plan? We're gonna to do inventory now? all the equipment we You're have. Gonna and inventory? See if we can get something more modern. Are you gonna inventory? I'm sure Alfonso will want my input on designing stuff to counter the aliens. Eventually, we'll have to cross over the Newton continent. I didn't pay too much attention in the prep classes, but I do remember there being a windmill between the continents. So I'll have to build something that can survive that. Hey, if you have the time, can you take me to Edissa? Sure. I want to talk. Sure thing. Let's go. Okay, I'm ready when you. I'll be ready in about when I'm done. Okay, uh, nothing. That is a follower type. I don't understand why follower types that you can't pick up doesn't has quest markers above their head. Can I help you? That's right. That sounds. Terrible. I'm Commander Hook of the Colony Defense Force. Why for someone from Earth, he didn't do too bad. Thank you for helping out. Why do you have to? Why do you have to go to the extremes of voice acting? Just a male voice would been fine. Then he's like, I don't know. That's like some kind of stereotypical Texan sound or something like that. A tough guy sound. Like I don't know what they're going for, but I don't like it. Okay, let's, oh, he's got the flare gun now. I don't need it. It doesn't get dark anymore. The shotgun does, how much damage does it do? 199? That's alright. But, I remember for a while, I used to like it, but I think they took some damage off of it. I don't remember. Well, I think the pellets, it has a spread pattern, like a, a shotgun spread, and each pellet does it do a lot of damage. So to get that 199, you have to pretty much be point blank. And I did like it when they added it, but I don't think I like it anymore. I don't. Uh. See, look, these sets are um, okay. Plus 60 health. I could I could live with that debuff, but that plus three stamina is stupid. That's 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 asinine. That's stupid. Just don't even put anything. Plus five to comfort. Just don't put anything. There's no point in that. And then the debuff is is way higher than all the buffs combined. So, I mean, the 60 health is okay. Um, I don't think I've ever used the iron set, and I would like to try it out. But, wait a minute. He has plus 60. That's plus 70. So, that's 130. Um, my set has 160, I think, right now. Does this have health? No. Okay, so this doesn't have any debuffs. I guess it isn't as bad as I remembered, but, um, yeah, this, this five, every five seconds plus health, plus one health. Just don't put health recovery at all. There's no point in that. Five percent attack, um, I don't know. Five percent attack, does this have any attack? No, this has three percent. Um, I mean, five percent and... 5%, 10%, 3% at this stage of the game actually makes a difference, but it's only like one or two, one or two points. So it's, I don't know. I, I, I don't think there should be any, any 
percentile base buffs on any anything below um, anything until you get to the aluminum aluminum armor set. I don't think there should be any percentage base. Just don't put any buffs. Don't insult my intelligence because two percent attack of uh, uh, well, I got 182, so that's like two percent attack is like three three extra attack. Oh, great. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You know, great. That really helps out. Um, see this? A hundred, it's almost all. The steel set used to be one of my favorite sets. I would go straight from the copper to the steel. But now, um, the defense ratings are starting to rise. See, a hundred... Um, 95 plus 60, 45 on the helmet, and um, 12 on the boots. But see, with the durability only being 24, these boots ain't going to last very long. The helmet's got a durability of 42, so they kind of get a, they do all right. I thought it was all helmets, too, had low durability, 37. The, the durability is just so freaking low. Um, yeah, the, the, the metal set, um, uh, I mean, the, the, this is the, uh, the steel set, the, uh, the armor ratings start to skyrocket, but all the buffs go to crap. A low percentile attack health, a, a small debuff to stamina, a little bit of recovery, but then negative comfort, negative, just don't put anything. Just don't put anything. Just let it be no buffs, no debuffs, just a steel armor set. You know, there's no, the plus 60 is welcome, the 9 stamina, the 20 hunger, the 10 comfort, and the plus 5%. That's all debuffs. It's all debuffs. Just balance the damn set to where you can have a positive and you can have, you know, one big positive to health, maybe a small um, positive to something else, a big debuff to something, and then a little debuff to something, or just one huge debuff to something. But don't do not do this, all these little niggly, little irrelevant buffs. It just, it's just insulting. Just, just don't do it. 5% chop power. I mean, that... that it, it, I, I don't like it. What are these daggers? Diamond daggers. Wow. What is the what is attack? 1.1. That's too high. That's massive freaking damage. But I don't think I'm. I don't think I can deal with that 1.1. If I'm gonna do 1.1, I'm just gonna go to the gold sword. Um, assault rifle plus 89. What is it, the right? What is the rifle? The regular freaking garbage rifle? I thought I got a rifle script, didn't I? I got the weapons. Yeah, rifle. 89, what's the deal? What did they flat rate all the bullets to the uh, tier, the 01 tier stuff, and then... They must have changed it, yeah. It must have a different fire pattern or a different magazine. I don't, I can't afford it? Oh my god. Do I have any, um, trophies? I didn't kill anything because I'm not, oh yeah, I did. Okay, I got that, I got this, I got some black fur. A black shell. Now how much do I have? Another thing I would like to see him do is... I, I, honest to God, don't need 10 pages of uh, inventory. They need to do something to utilize the uh, storage chest. Now that we can make storage chests and place them down and stuff... Um, we need to like maybe have one page of each type and then after that you have to put all your equipment in storage chest. I think that would really, really make the game to where you're forced to play it. But you can see now I can, 
I can basically cheese almost 99% of the quest and not do anything. The way the game is set up right now. No, 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 I don't want to sell it. I want this script. $700? You can forget that. Cancel. I'll see you later, Alfonso. The prices of the scripts have gotten out of control. They're ridiculous. Hmm? Huh? That's, that can't be the only way to make the game, like to make the, to extend the game to make it grindy, the fact that you just don't have enough meat to buy scripts. I'm not buying them. That's just ridiculous. We were hit by something oh, in orbit. God. I'm not writing off the possibility that it might be launched by the natives of this planet. That's not a Pringles We will investigate That's into this thing. matter and give everyone a definitive answer when the time is right. That's straight out of a freaking trash can. Or a freaking paint bucket. Or a, a five gallon paint bucket. I'll take this group over to the Martian settlement. Currently we're planning on staying there until everyone's healed up. And we have enough supplies to oh, carry us over to the Newton continent. Now. We'll need to talk with the Earth colonists as well when we get to that step. Right now, though, Stamina my focus is solely on finding all the survivors and figuring out how to deal with the aliens. I don't know what that means. Plus four to stamina recovery. And then comfort negative 50. How can you be, how can you be having negative 50 comfort when I got my, my comfort is zero? Um, comfort is zero. So how can I have a negative 50? So you're telling me don't add comfort? Don't worry about it because there's no point in it right now? What does this give me? 30? That's not even worth making for 30 health re I mean 30 hunger regain. What is it? A little bitty tiny like a uh, ketchup bowl of soup or something? A little, one of those little things like at Wendy's to get the ketchup in. One of those little tiny cups. Okay, this is a little better at 60. I don't think anything should be below 60. Even these compressed biscuits. But they're at 20. You gotta eat so much freaking food now. It's ridiculous. I mean, when you get the colony, food is so easy to make. That it's okay because... Your farmers could easily outgrow so much ingredients to food, and then the, uh, you can make so much food that it's kind of it's kind of comical, funny how quickly you can easily you can make food. But um, see you later. The fact that you gotta eat so much now it's it's a little bit ridiculous. Let me get the sun out because I can't see nothing. And, well, I can, but... It's better to record in the, um... Why am I still fatigued? Okay, that's what I thought. See, it seemed like the, 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 the comfort threshold had to go way past 75% to get rid of fatigue. And to me, that doesn't make sense. It should go... She got up automatically. It's 9 o'clock, but it's still dark because it's raining. Okay, let's see. Uh... What's up? I have, and I've actually seen them as well. We had a run-in with a couple of them when we landed. Luckily, we were armed and scared them off. We will prepare an expedition to seek them out once we settle in. I believe strongly that we must ascertain their intentions as soon as possible. If there can be no cooperation between us, at least let there be peace. I think all they have to do is run that voice through something to cancel all the reverb in it. Uh, and I think it would be fine. I, I'm not totally opposed to it. That's not how I uh, imagined him sounding. And then the reverb just makes it just all that much worse. We built a more sturdy settlement northeast of here. Governor Skyrunner is there as well. I'm going around gathering up the Martian survivors. It might take some time for another ship to get here, so we'll do what we must to survive. 
And these daggers don't seem like daggers. They seem like, uh, what are they, scimitars? They seem like small swords. Do you really think Martians and Earthlings can get along in this type of situation? I don't want any internal conflict between humans right now, especially with another sentient species around. So we're forcefully segregating the two groups. I'm just being pragmatic here. Once everything settles down and we make contact with the main group, then we'll decide on integration from there. To be sure, we won't be able to survive separately on our own in the long term. The camera is just There's another reason too. Out of control. But I probably should let the governor explain that one. The camera is just out of control. If I want to, I should be able to pan around this crowd without the camera zooming in and out like a crazy person. I haven't had the chance to get into contact with any other Earthlings, you got but I right hope now. they agree with our idea of segregation for now. I assume if I'm you Earthling. see any of them, why don't you let them know? See, that would be another option. I wish they would have did the storyline. I really, truly wish they would have did the storyline to where the, the two factions actually went their own way, and then you could play through the story as an Earthling. And the story would follow, like, you know, go help Doc Carter, Earth Camp, all that stuff. And then you just, you know, did missions for the Martians, but they really wouldn't have nothing to do with you. And then you could play the game again as a Martian, and then you'd have another, you know, a completely different, you know, the same world, the same happenings, but you could see the story unfold from the Martian psyche and the Martian's point of view. Just that in itself would have gave replay a value, you know, replay value to the game. And then in um, in multiplayer, if you put up a versus, you put up a versus server, it could have been Martians against the uh, Martians against the um, the Earthlings. And then um, you know, divide some of the weapons um, off. Divide certain weapons off only available to the uh, the Martians and uh, other weapons only available to the uh, Earthlings. And, you know, the Earthlings could have set up one base and the, the Martians could set up another base. And then, you know, the server can decide if they want to live in peace or they can go at war with each other. And, I, th I think that would just been an overall better experience for the game. First of all, a single player would be better because you'd have a reason to replay it from different sides. If you had male and female difference between playing as a male and difference from playing as a, a female, you know, like I said, just males being stronger and better at melee and then females being better at ranged or something like that. And then Martians would have, like, different attributes. Like I said, they're taller. Martians are usually taller. Look how big Alfonso is compared to me. Look how big Raul, Raul is compared to me. You know, make them, you know, longer legs. You usually can run faster, but, um, you know, you could, I don't know, give them some kind of different buff. That way, you'd have an option to play as a... As a Earth male, you'd have a different play experience. As an Earth female, you'd have a different experience as a Martian female, and then a different experience as a Martian male. And then they kind of teased as one of the stretch goals of the game to play as a, a Puja or one of the aliens. But to do that, you'd have to do what I was talking about anyway, which would have made a better game anyway. So. I don't think we'll ever get to play as one, but that could be another option on a versus server. You could, uh, when you join the server, you could pick to be a, a Earth male, a Earth female, a Martian male, a, a Martian female, and then a, a, a Puja male, and a Puja female, and a Puja male, or a Puja female. And then between all those different options, each, each um, selection you made would have a, a certain... Um, a certain innate attribute to it, like female, all females would be more agile, all males would be stronger. You know, it would be easy to do just male. If you select male, you get 
a higher a percentage, say like a 10% to attack. Um, and then females, you would get um, all your animations would play. Uh, you know, you could you could actually give the females a 10% debuff to attack, and but um, compensate by uh, speeding up all their animations by 10%. You know, because they're quicker and more agile. And then you did that across the board for male and female, and then give different attributes to earth people then give different attributes to martian people and then give different attributes to puja and then give mo different attributes to pujan and then you would have um two four you would have eight different variations um to play the game and it would be so much better and have so many more reasons to replay the game Okay, so that was it. I thought somebody was supposed to give me a quest to go to, uh... Oh, no, Hitomi marked it on my map. That's true. Okay, well, Nan wants to go to Adisa, so... And then Raul's gonna tag along. Hey, wait up! Can I tag along for a bit? Yep. And then, see, that's the other thing. She doesn't follow you with the way the sound works in the game now. scared of going there on my own. She's all voice acting, but she doesn't, she doesn't trigger until you get like half a mile away from the camp, and then you can't hear what she's saying. She does, she needs to follow like she used to. She needs to, as soon as you leave, as soon as you get to right, like right here, she needs to run after you. Because that's, that's how she did before. She used to be like, hey, wait up, and then she would, but now she just stands there like a freaking idiot. And talks to you from half a mile away. And then she won't follow you until you go through the uh, entire... Oh, no, no, no. You're going west of the Earth Camp anyway, right? I'll just join you for a bit. I liked her older As voice they say, better. Strength in numbers. I really liked her with her old voice. I really did. It's the one thing that kind of draw, draw, drew you to her, her Australian accent. But now she's nope. kind of... But we really need to figure out a way to disable this interference. I don't know Our what that is. survival may depend on it. I guess she just sounds a little more natural, but I guess they tried to keep a little bit of the uh, Australian sound. Yeah, I'm part of the Colony Communications Equipment and Management Task Force. If you're wondering about the electronic interference, uh, well, it's powerful, that's for sure. It's coming from a source far to the west of here, and um, that's all I know for now. Whatever it is, it's powerful enough to interfere with all of our communication signals on all frequencies. I hate not going through these things. There are circumstances where interference can naturally occur, but that's mostly cosmological in nature, like near a gas giant or a neutron star. But on a rocky core planet, that's very unlikely. I think it's some sort of intelligent design, but who knows? The universe is full that, of surprises. That pacing shit's back and forth. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in the middle of a dialogue, and she's running around like a freaking idiot. They need a scripting that when you talk to the NPCs, they stand still and get right in front of you. Don't move. That shit used to drive me crazy. You sitting here trying to have a conversation, and your followers are pacing back and forth right in front of you. That drives me freaking up a wall. And then, like, I just want to—I just want to get through this dialogue because I hate not going they were through to it. Communicate with us. At least that's what it looked like. Because they seem to have some sort of form of verbal linguistics. An hour from now, all this stuff them. won't make sense anymore. We were too scared to reply. <laughs> After that, they had a round table, and that's where they decided they wanted to cook us. See, we're all. talking about stuff Luckily, that happened. Luckily, showed up just in time. Way back at the other. Uh, at the uh, Pujan camp, and uh, in in a f in, in a couple hours, that won't make sense anymore. But that mean lady survived, huh? I guess it can't be helped. <laughs> well, this certainly narrows it down on the possible sources for the interference. I mean, for a first-time playthrough, you're probably going to go through all this quest, but once you got the story in your head. Um, if they keep the game like this, you'll probably never play it again. Um, 
but if you do decide to play it again you probably just want to you just want this stuff to disappear after a certain amount of time yeah it's not like i can survive on my own besides i don't think i'd be too welcomed in an earth camp i'd like to see us all together soon though no offense to alfonso but his division plan is stupid yep he's standing right there too uh well actually you see I got my degree from the Martian Military Academy because they had the best school of interspace communications, but I had no interest in actually joining the fleet. So joining the colony got me out of the military. I do miss my parents though, but they're scheduled to come in on the next ship. Okay, Rao has a shot, but I don't think... She's got the old stupid bed that... I, I, I much prefer the sleeping bag scripts, but I kind of wish they would have did a cot because, um, to be honest, the uh, sleeping bags had this problem. When you put them down, they, they clip into the ground. I mean, the bed's clipped into the ground, but having them off the ground um, kind of made up for it. Um, you did have some kind of, sometimes you would have, like, on a hill, you'd put it down and only one leg would be touching the hill and all the rest of the bed would be floating but that was better than them clipping into the like what this does I really like the idea of a sleeping bag because you really wouldn't run around with a big full-size bed especially an uncomfortable wooden bed like I'm glad they did do the sleeping bags but I wish they would have just put like some little legs to keep them up just a um, All you got to do is raise the model of the sleeping bag, like make it hover above the ground, and then put some little um, crisscross legs like it's on a stand, and let that clip into the ground if it's uneven, so you won't have all these problems with the uh, sleeping bags. Um, with all the physics in the game, I don't understand why they don't have um, why they don't have a warp physics to them to where if I put it on the hill the sleeping bag just conforms to the hill you could do that in Skyrim and that was what how old is that game now using the Havoc physics engine that it has I don't understand why you can't do that in this game okay is that it is everybody done where'd Raw go she's just running around like a crazy person where I can't get in touch with her hey okay she's done so see you later we got Raw and Ned now 